All right, Brayden Miller from Go Hunt, and today I got a product review for you on this brand new for 2020 uh, Vortex Optic rifle scope. This is the new Razor HD LHT 3 to 15 by 42, and LHD stands for Light Hunter Tactical. This is basically a feature-rich rifle scope. They cut out a lot of like the bulky items. You don't see a bunch of bulky knobs on the side, you know, with bulky windage um, to the right. It's basically cutting weight and getting rid of some features that you don't need while still making this a do-it-all scope. The scope can handle anything from whitetail hunting to still hunting in the timber for, for bull elk. I mean, this scope can do it all, which is a really great feature about this scope. So a really cool thing about this scope, I was actually fortunate enough to get this scope 30 days before it got released to the public. So I've actually had in the field use on this scope already. I took this scope recently on a general season javelina hunt in Arizona. Basically put this scope through the ringer. Late February hunt, we experienced tons of nasty rain. The scope held up phenomenally. No fog, no issues with with weather. It was downpouring the whole entire time while I was you know, putting my stock on the javelina and actually made the stock in the rain. It was super easy to set up. Um, get it dialed in, only took a day, got it ready to go, left on the hunt a couple days later. So now let's just jump into some specs on this new rifle scope. So, you know, as a big tur turret knob on the top, a really cool feature about this is Vortex has their uh, locking elevation turret and it has a built-in rev stop zero system. So basically, pull it up, I can adjust the twist whenever I need to, it has a zero stop at the end, I can lock it back down, I can shoot it up, I can shoot it down. This is really great for you set your scope, put it down. You're not gonna have to worry about anything getting bumped. The turret's not gonna move on you. It's a really cool feature about it. Um, another feature I wanna call out is while I was setting up the scope, um, getting it zeroed in, very, very simple. All I have to do is take a little quarter coin under the top part, pull the turret cap off, and underneath there you drop in the little uh, zero stop system and you're good to go. And this is set up on a 300 wind mag. Um, the scope never moved on me. This is a phenomenal tracking scope. So for the guy who's concerned about weight, if you're going on a backpack style hunt, this scope will be perfect for that. It weighs at 19.1 ounces. It's only 13.3 inches long. If you're a guy who's going to be still hunting in timber, you know, might anticipate taking some closer shots, especially, you know, like late season elk hunting, just walking through the snow. Um, it does have an illuminated reticle. And the cool thing is it's just a push button on the side and then boom, you have a limited reticle. And the, the reticle in here is the new for 2020 um, HSR 5i reticle. What I really liked about this, it doesn't add a lot of clutter to this rifle scope. So basically it's really easy to see and doesn't distract me when I'm shooting. It's based on one of the, the T-Design reticle. Um, it has a 30 mil tube, so you get a lot of good stability out of the scope, a lot of good travel. Um, the turret does have 80 MOA of travel built into it. So if you're a guy who likes to practice long range, you can still get it down with the scope. One of the other unique features that I really grew to love setting up the scope last uh, last month is the built-in parallax on the side. It's actually um, right next to the illumination knob. And basically you can go from 20 all the way to infinity on the parallax. And uh, then on the other side of the scope, this is part of the uh, basically cutting weight and features you do not really need in a good, good all around any type of hunting going on is the capped uh, windage turrets. So that's super easy. I, like a lot of times you have these open to the air, they might get bumped and moved around. This way you can just set it, put your cap on, and you never have to worry about uh, your windage turret getting bumped. Like I said earlier, uh, it's a 315 power, uh, has a 42 mil objective, and the scope is made from a solid block of aircraft aluminum. The scope can handle a beating. And I did actually drop this my gun as I was packing up my Havilene in the rain. Landed on a rock, uh, shot it again when I got back home after I killed the javelina, and everything was tracking just perfectly. Another unique part I really grew to love on this scope is it's based off the Razor HD glass. And this is a great scope for low light conditions. Um, the scope uh, lens is coated with an XR Plus lens coating. Like I said earlier, it was downpouring rain on the scope. I was able to still see through the raindrops perfectly when I took the shot in the javelina. So another option for this scope, if you're a guy who likes to use uh, mil radians, this is offered in both MOA and mil radians, and they do have a 50 millimeter objective available in the mil rating version. The scope is also a second focal plane scope. So that's worth mentioning on here. Another cool feature on the side of the scope, when you adjust the magnification, there is a little like knob here. So that's really useful. Put your thumb on, you can adjust from three to 15. So if your guy's stalking in close on an, on an animal, boom, you have that ability to uh, shoot at three power. Or if you're taking a little longer range shot, you can crank it all the way up to 15. When you purchase a scope, unique thing is you do get a little bit of added uh, Add gear to it. So in the box, it actually comes with a sunshade.
So sunshade just uh, goes on in here, screws in. I like to have sunshade on all the time just for if I'm, you know, aiming my scope towards the sun. It's going to help, you know, deviate a lot of that light coming in there. Don't get a lot of that just blown out light. Uh, another thing this scope does come with, it comes with uh, front and rear lens caps. So just a couple little added things that just add this as a ultimate package to pick it up, throw on a gun, take it out hunting. You're going to have an awesome fall. As I stated earlier, this scope comes in MOA. But the unique feature on it is you actually can uh, send in all your ballistics data and you get a coupon in the box, send the data in, and you'll get back a strip that'll come in yardage. Um, then you can slap the yardage on and then you can have it from 100 yards to all the way over instead of having to dial in MOAs. This is a cool feature that uh, Vortec actually had a lot of feedback on and they've exceeded their expectations for the users and add this as a cool option for if you don't like MOA, you can get it converted to yards. A little quick summary of these awesome features on this new uh, Razer HD LHD 3 to 15 by 42 scope uh, locking elevation turret. This is a game changer. This turret is amazing, easy to set up, easy to use. Love the locking feature on it. Love knowing exactly what my MOA is dialed at every single time. Super simple to use. The illuminated center dot, great feature. You need to use it, low light situation. Um, also that uh, new HSR 5i reticle. Not a lot of bulk in your scope. You can easily see what you're looking at. Those are going to be great features for any hunter. The scope will come in at $999.99 map. Feature rich, doesn't have any of the bells and whistles that you do not need in a good long range scope. Easy to use, easy to set up. This is a scope you could take on any single hunt you want to go on from whitetail hunting, elk hunting, mule deer hunting, open country antelope. This scope will get it done for you. Um, again, I've had a lot of field use with the scope at the range on a hunt already this year. Have any comments, drop them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, as always, like and subscribe our videos, and uh, catch you next time.